Hello, Pelican Towners, for the first video of my channel. For this let's for this let's play, we'll be playing Stardew Valley. I already started a file and I made the character. There's not much to it except for the cat. I love the cat. I don't know why, but this kind of made me think of one of my childhood cats that I had, and it just makes me so happy. Get them parsnip seeds. And for the first, for each of these episodes on this Let's Play, I'll be doing about three days in game of gameplay, and then I'll send it to you guys. Now I'm just gonna get some space ready for my parsnips. I almost called them turnips. I haven't restarted in a file in forever. It's almost like nostalgic. <laughs> There isn't too much interesting about clearing out the farm, but there's something so nice about the clean slate feeling. Just like working for everything you've gotten already all over again. So for this episode, my main goals are to get some crop crops going. I'm probably going to buy cauliflower, but maybe potatoes first. And I want to finish the foraging bundle in the town center, if you can. I don't remember exactly when it unlocks, but I know that you have to talk to the wizard first. Or no, you have to go to the town center before you can talk to the wizard and then you can go over there to the town center. So I'm not exactly sure when it unlocks, but we'll figure it out. I can't make a chest yet to put my stuff in, so I'm going to go ahead and gather some wood. Okay, that should be enough now for the first chest. I love that they added the different colors of chest. I placed that in the wrong spot. Because, like, look at the variety. I love it. I really like the gray chest. I don't know why. They just look very rustic, and I think it's nice. I, I don't know. I, I just like them. <laughs> the first worms of the playthrough. Maybe it's something good? Lost book. Okay, I guess. <laughs> A daffodil for the bundle. Why are there only daffodils? Hmm. Another lost book. <laughs> How lucky. <laughs> now there should be a quest to, yeah, to talk to everyone in town. So I think I'll also try to do that today. And make a parsnip. But I can't do that quite yet. <laughs> oh, I never knew that Louis's birthday was this early. Don't mind me. Don't mind me, Alex. I'm just, I'm hungry, okay? <laughs> yep, I'm the new guy. <laughs> Hello, Evelyn. How's it going? Oh, I forget how sweet her dialogue is. She's so nice. And George. Yeah, he, he's there too. Um, <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of George. But I do think that like the grumpy grandma and the sweet elderly lady is a really cute couple. Lewis? No? Okay. Okay. Looking for everyone else. So Clint should be in a shop. Yes, he is. Hello. I love how awkward he is. It's so relatable, especially in some of his cutscenes where like, it's like trying to give a girlfriend and it's so awkward. <laughs> um, can I get something besides a daffodil? Um, I don't need any more of those. I already have one. <laughs> Hello, Robin. In the opening cutscene, I technically already talked to you, but I guess I'm going to do it again. <laughs> 
I feel kind of bad because I never really talked to Mara, but she's kind of a cool character. Sebastian is probably in his room. Yeah, but I can't get him yet. Uh, I'll have to wait till later to talk to him. Go up and meet Linus if he's in his house. Well, his tent. <laughs> Yes, hello. That's okay. I will give you food. <laughs> I love giving him food in my playthroughs because he's so nice. I wish that, like, he could be more part of the town, you know? Because it stinks that if there's, like, a festival or something, he's always off to the side. It makes me feel bad for him. <laughs> Let's see. So, how many people is that now? Nine out of 28. <laughs> Uh, there should be a few people in Pierre's house. Oh, there's Leia. I also don't really get to talk to her too much. Because she's kind of out of the way of what I would call my normal schedule. I will be back for you, Pierre, just not yet. Um, Coraline. Or Caroline, not Coraline. Are you here? Abigail. I really like Abigail. I think that her character is really awesome and her cutscenes are just really fun. <laughs> I mean you literally get to go gaming with her. So like what's not to love? Oh, lovely. <laughs> My favorite snack, green algae. Elliot, hello. I'm gonna wait till everyone goes to the saloon to talk to Willie, because he does go up there. Also, I'm so excited to get to talk to Krobus because I want him as my roommate because he is best boy. Especially, like, if you unlock the movie theater, he is so adorable because he gets in his own little costume and acts like he's a human. Little Penny. Let's see, are you selling anything special? Does a rice pudding. Does he always sell? I don't think I've ever seen him sell that. But then again, I don't really go in the saloon. <laughs> Pam, 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 Pam. She's like that a cool grandma almost. <laughs> like that one cool aunt, you know? I think she's pretty neat. Let's see. So I already talked to Leah. So now let's see if Marnie and Jazz are home. There's Jazz. Hi, Jazz. Oh, she's so cute. Where's Shane? Oh, he's probably working. Oh, so is Sam. I didn't think about that. Maybe I'll have to do that tomorrow. Because I'm pretty sure they're closed. Let's see. How many more people? Five. So I know I need Sam, Sebastian, Shane. I think I already talked to her. Um, who else? It's kind of like a, guess that person, <laughs> trying to remember who I need to talk to. Oh, yeah, Willie and the mayor. And they should start heading to the saloon when it gets late enough. Yeah, there's Shane. I could play one of the arcade games while I wait. I'm not very good. Oh, wait. You can't play the 
other one yet. Oh, does time not pass when you're in that? Well, I guess I'll wait. <laughs> the sitting from the back looks so weird. <laughs> I never noticed that. I guess I'll wait till tomorrow to finish talking to everyone. And for now, I'll go back to the farm. Clearing out the farm is always such a long task. But it's so satisfying when you finally get it all done. It will be sunny tomorrow and we just get the mood going. Put on the nice cozy fireplace before I go to sleep. Now I should have a letter. Yes. Just got back from a fishing trip. Oh yeah, I forgot, Lily isn't here the first day. But that fishing rod will be very helpful to get money early game. They can't put fish bait or any lures on it or anything, but those are already kind of hard to get now because you can't buy them or make them yet. So I guess that's okay. Okay, I'm going to go to the beach and then get my rod from Willie and complete that task. And I'm also going to get some more seeds from Piers. From, I mean, for the community center. Pierre, open the doors. I hate that you have to wait till nine. Um, I had to break it to you, Haley, but the mine isn't even open yet. <laughs> That's a little bit not possible. <laughs> what if I just got like really lucky and got some um, topaz from the trash can? You know, so I've already seen all the cutscenes, so what if my finger accidentally slipped? Oh no! Oh no, it slipped! I'm so sorry, Willie, but I will fish with you. Because Willie is a nice character. I feel like he's really underappreciated. I'll catch a sardine or something, and then I'll go to Piers. You know, fishing isn't very interesting. <laughs> oh, I forgot about the little tutorial on the left. Wow, I'm doing really terrible. I'm not used to it being so small. I said I'd catch a sardine, so I gotta keep on going. 
I might have to throw out the stone and wood I have because early game inventory is awful. Hello? <laughs> I'm doing awful. Okay, there's the sardine. Bye, Lily. Um, can you let me through? <laughs> I, I can't walk through. <laughs> okay, there we go. And now Pierre's is open. I forgot to check for clams. Those are nice to have. And I think that they're part of a bundle. I'm not 100% sure. Let's see, can I get an artifact, please? Yep, there we go. It is a trilobite. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. <laughs> but that's the first thing to donate. And I think I get money for a quest for donating something, if I'm not mistaken. Excuse me, Penny. I need through. Oh, another cutscene. Um, oh, oops, it, it slipped. I'm sorry. I already have three books. Why are there books in the ground in the first place? <laughs> Front and center. Journal updated. Yep, I get money. That'll be good for when I'm buying some crops. I'm almost close enough to um, just buy the better backpack. Oh, there you are, Lewis. Come here. Hello. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone about that golden statue, wink wink. <laughs> I love that dialogue where he's like, well, the context is, he's like, what if I use the town funds to make a gold statue of me? Wait, what if? <laughs> And if you find a secret note, you can go behind his house and find the statue. <laughs> so I'm going to buy... Oh, I can only have one thing right now. So I'll buy potatoes. I'll buy 15. And now I'm broke even. <laughs> I'm sorry, Haley, I, I can't. <laughs> I think I'm going to go to the forest after I plant these and try to find a leek, horseradish, and daffodil. Not daffodil, dandelion. I'm always getting daffodil and dandelion mixed up because they're so similar in names. I can't wait for getting the crafting... Wait, do I have it? I don't remember. Oh yes, I can make pathing. I'm probably going to start putting some down because I like being very organized. <laughs> oh, I made it a little bit too long. Hopefully it rains tomorrow so now I can have more time to go and explore. I'm so excited to get enough stuff donated so I can talk to Krobus. Cause I just think he's so cute. Like he was the first person I got all stars on with in my first playthrough of this game. So I kind of want to repeat that. He does take I usually would give him void eggs because he likes those a lot. And I don't know what else he loves. Because I probably need to figure it out because void eggs are a little bit hard to get, except from him. But we'll see. I definitely need to start clearing out some of this farm.
excited for the mine to open because I like mining a lot. <laughs> I just think it's probably the most interesting part about this game. Because, especially like in School Cavern where there's no elevators, it's just fun trying to see like how far down you can get. But also you do have to wait for a good luck day because if you don't, it kind of stinks trying to do it. Put some stuff in the bin. Save these for the community center. And I guess I can go river fishing. Because I do need to start looking for the catfish. Because if I remember correctly, it's the hardest river fish in the bundle to get. So... I'm gonna work on that. Can you only catch basic fish with this? No, you can catch all fish. I think I want to try to get every kind of fish in this playthrough because I just, I think it's so much fun catching fish. Some more than others. Like the scorpion fish, oh my gosh. It's so hard to catch. <laughs> I'm gonna try to be more interesting when playing, I mean when fishing, because it's not exactly the most fun thing to watch. But I do have a Karen story. <laughs> uh, the other day I was at McDonald's and I had gotten some Sprite and there was no syrup in it, it was just the carbonation. I don't know if you've ever had it like that, but it's like very bitter and it's pretty nasty. But instead of a middle-aged woman, it was a middle-aged man. He was yelling at one of the customers that there was no syrup in the machine. And everyone, it was very packed at the time, and everyone in line was waiting for him to be quiet so they could get their food because he was being so loud and yelling about how there's no carbonation in the machine. And they were like, oh, it's okay, sir, we'll put some in. But he was still yelling at them. It was like, why? <laughs> Perfect. Do you donate grain? I don't remember. <laughs> A lot of this episode is just me being forgetful. <laughs> Sam! I see Sam. I still need to talk to him. Um, okay, it pauses the game. I was worried that he would walk off without me. Come here, Sam. Okay, day three. I got better asperger efficiency. Trees can drop seeds. I can make spring seeds and field snack. Field snack are so great early game because they're a good source of energy, which is not easy to come by, especially when you're mining. Yes, a rainy day. What's in the mail for today? Oh, it's the advertisement for the backpack from Pierre. I'll start clearing out a little bit more of the farm. Uh, I'm so used to the Iridium Axe, so this feels so slow. <laughs> I'll just gonna clear out some stuff up here.
Sebastian because I need him and who's the last person? I don't remember. But I early game is just such a struggle to get enough money for everything. Oh, Rusty Cog. We can go donate that. Okay. I wonder when the first reward is. And what it is, because I I don't remember. I feel like Gunter is just the human form of blathers. <laughs> I love bl blathers. Maybe I'll show my Animal Crossing Island sometime. It's definitely not, not done, even though I've had the game since it came out. The new 1.18, wait, that's Minecraft. The new Animal Crossing update was, it's so fun. And, oop, I was not paying attention. And I never really liked decorating the inside of houses, but my friends really wanted me to get the new DLC, so I was like, okay, fine, I'll get it. And then when I started playing it, I was like, what have you done? I can't stop. This is so fun. <laughs> and so I went, Sebastian. <laughs> and so I like, I I haven't beat it yet because I do have limited time to do it, but I think it's so much fun. And I got the Series 8 Amiibo cards for Animal Crossing. And they're all very small, the ones that I bought. And it has all of the new villagers, and then it also has a lot of the NPCs from New Horizons. Hopefully this is a bream. And so it's... It's really fun that you can just invite them and make a house for them. But about 1.18 in Minecraft, it the new generation is so beautiful. I don't know if you guys have seen it yet. I'm assuming so if you play Minecraft. But it's it's amazing how large all the new caves are. But it is Honestly, I think it's harder to find diamonds, Shad, because mining your deep slate t takes so long if you don't have diamond enchanted, and then, oh geez, what are you, catfish? Catfish? No, I want to catch you. Please, please, please. No, that had to be a catfish. But what I was saying was, it it's very hard to mine through Deep Slate. And it can be so slow. But the new generation is amazing because... There is the new uh, giant caves, and I don't know, I don't think it was a, um, a mistake, but I was on a mountain in game, and it had like so many cornflowers, like there was barely any blocks that didn't have a flower on them. It was very weird, but it looked really cool. Thinks that I missed that fish. Oh, so not bass, but gold. I really wish I had more slots because these are not doing it for me. I could put my hoe in a chest because I don't use it very often. Obviously. <laughs> Perfect. I still have so much so I can go break these open. Hello, Clint. Oh yeah, I need space. Yes. Yes. 
So I still need to talk to one more person, but I don't know who. Hmm. I'll probably figure it out. Well, I can go to the friend list to see everyone I've talked to. Oh, I haven't talked to, how? Poor Abigail. She's like one of my favorite characters and I forgot about her. I feel so bad right now. <laughs> Fish, get in the bin. And if you want to see how much profit I made, check in next time for my next video. I'll see you guys later. Bye.